Have you ever played a match where you feel like you need to work much harder to play your character than your opponent does? In some cases, this might be due to tier differences, but it could also be that they are just playing an easier character than you are. For one thing, easy characters are great to pick up for new players, as they let you dive into the game and learn its mechanics without being overwhelmed by lots of character-specific tech. Additionally, easier characters tend to be strong in the competitive meta because the ability to get lots done with little effort is very valuable in tournaments. This doesn't necessarily make difficult characters bad competitively, but they certainly take more work, at least to learn. In this video, we'll talk about some of the easiest characters to play in Smash Ultimate and explain what makes them such a breeze to pick up and start beating your friends with. Before we get into them, be sure to check out all of the additional Smash content we have to offer on our website, ProGuides.com. You can find guides on every character in the game there, and even get instant access to experienced Smash coaches via our Play With Pros platform. If that wasn't enough, we've also got exclusive pro courses with top players like the one and only MKLeo. Now, on with the video. So, what exactly makes a character easy? Basically, it comes down to what they can get done and how simple it is to achieve that. For example, having a large, active combo starter that leads to lots of damage but isn't easy to whiff punish will make neutral very easy for a character. Other factors are range, frame data, and edge guarding. Mario seems like a fitting character to talk about when discussing easy characters. As the most iconic Nintendo character featured in every Smash game, the Heroic Plumber is designed to be easy to pick up and play. He's good at just about everything, so you'll never really struggle to get anything done with Mario. First and foremost, Mario has some of the best frame data in all of Smash Ultimate. The majority of his moveset comes out very fast, and with low cooldown to boot. Because of this, Mario players can afford to throw out lots of attacks without as much worry of being punished unlike many other characters. His aerial game stands out in particular, as he can perform many combinations of two aerials in one short hop, then land with minimal landing lag. If that wasn't enough, all of Mario's aerials set up for combos, which are typically very straightforward and simply require the player to continue swinging in the opponent's direction. This combination of amazing frame data and combo potential makes Mario a super easy character who almost rewards mashing sometimes. Wolf is another all-around style character with great frame data. Wolf's neutral air stays active all around him for a really long time before landing with such little lag. So this move can make controlling the air as simple as flicking jump in A. His forward air is disjointed thanks to his sharp claws, and it starts very simple combos into more forward airs, neutral airs, or back airs. Speaking of which, Wolf's back air auto-cancels out of a short hop, meaning you can throw it out and land with virtually no lag whatsoever. Since this move is incredibly strong, Wolf players can throw it out multiple times without much worry of being punished and potentially score early KOs. Ike is one of two characters on this list that are sometimes jokingly referred to as Nair the character, and although that term is an exaggeration, it's somewhat rooted in truth. Ike's Nair is a safe move to throw out a neutral, and it leads to combos at basically any percent. This goes from simple damage builders to kill confirms like Nair to up air in a large window at higher percents. Ike also has tons of range on all of his moves, making it very easy to space everything safely and keep opponents out. With his eruption, Ike can edgeguard many characters by simply holding down the B button and releasing it on reaction, which lets him easily take stocks without even going offstage. Greninja is a great introduction to the rushdown and whiff punish archetypes. His amazing dash attack coupled with quick ground movement allow him to rush in and easily punish an opponent's whiffed move. Dash attack doesn't have too much lag, and it can cross up shields too, so it isn't even that risky to throw out in general. Even better, Greninja's dash attack starts combos at most percents, leading into simple back air and up air follow-ups. These two aerials are also both multi-hits, making them easier to connect. Greninja's forward air has a large disjointed range and kills, so he can use this move to space around shields. Fair in addition to neutral B gives Greninja some zoning options as well. He also has some simple kill confirms, so he won't have much trouble closing out stocks. Lucina is an extremely simple character that doesn't have much to her playstyle besides straight-up fundamental spacing. And spacing with Lucina is so easy thanks to the massive range on all of her attacks. Her aerials come out quickly and have little landing lag, making her shield pressure some of the safest in the game. Her fast long-range aerials are also amazing for edgeguarding, and coupled with her frame 1 intangible up B, letting her go deep off stage with little worry. Lucina is a character that can teach you a lot about Smash fundamentals, and since she's very solid competitively, she's a great choice for a main or secondary. Yoshi is... Um... The, the thing about Yoshi... Well... Yoshi can just mash. Did I say that? Uh, okay, so... 
Yoshi has great frame data, like Mario, and he also has surprisingly massive hitboxes for a character with no weapons. His frame 3 neutral air guarantees a large boot to your face anytime you hit his shield or overextend a follow-up, and his crazy airspeed lets him drift around as if he had wings. His tilts start true combos into multiple up airs that rack up damage very quickly and they cover a large range pretty safely. It's pretty scary to be close to Yoshi in general, and as the Yoshi player, you can get most of what you need done by holding towards the opponent and pressing A. Who's ready for Nair the character number 2? Yeah, it's Palutena. If you somehow don't know at this point, Palu's Nair is pretty good, even despite its recent nerf. It's active for... a while, with multi-hits that just beg for you to jump into them, and if she lands any part of this move, you'll be going on a ride for at least 40 damage. She can also edge guard, ledge trap, and kill with it, but that's not the only thing that makes her easy. Her aerials have super low landing lag and are very safe on shield. Did we also mention that her back air and dash attack are invincible, so you can challenge just about anything with them? Well, we mentioned it now. You know that really precise technique we call two-framing? Well, it's not too precise for old Palutena. She can simply down tilt with a slight notion of when you'll be grabbing the ledge to most likely two-frame you. Oh. And this starts combos, too. Palutena is definitely a low-risk, high-reward character. Like his daughter Lucina, Krom has tons of range that lets him outspace opponents easily. However, Krom is a fast faller, so he can play at a much faster pace. He can get long combos and strings with his up air and drag people across the stage with his nair. Thanks to amazing ground moves like jab, forward tilt, and down tilt, Krom also has insane shield pressure, and if any of those moves hits you, it might cost you a stock. His dominant ranged pressure earned Krom the description as an Unga Bunga character in the early meta, and he remains a character that can throw out tons of hitboxes that need to be respected. Okay, I guess there are three Nair the Characters on this list, but Mr. Game & Watch isn't just Nair the Character. He's Down Smash the Character, he's Up Smash the Character, and of course, Up Be Out of Shield the Character. Game & Watch certainly has a lot of infamous moves. His Nair is a safe aerial that catches jumps and leads to tons of damage from its combo extensions. So basically, Palutena's Nair. His up and down smashes have very low end lag, so he can actually whiff these moves multiple times in neutral and not get punished. For, you know, throwing out powerful smash attacks that kill in neutral. Why? If you so much as look at his shield, you'll probably get punished by his up B, which comes out on frame 3. But if you whiff an up B as Game & Watch, you don't really have to worry, as his down air and back air are amazing landing options that protect him as he drops back down. Game & Watch's long-lasting back air and down air are also amazing edge guarding options that can hit recovering opponents with very little precision required. Be honest, you thought of Ness when you clicked on this video, didn't you? Ness is good for a lot of the same reasons as Yoshi. He has great aerial hitboxes and fast airspeed. With Ness's aerials, he uses his psychic powers to create a disjoint, which lets his aerials outspace and outprioritize so much. Ness can control space with his PK fire, which traps opponents inside of the flames as it deals lots of damage. If you're off stage or in the air, you'll have to dance your way around his PK thunder, which he can freely control and juggle you with multiple times. That's one way that Ness can easily edgeguard without going off stage, but he has an even better and perhaps easier way. Ness can charge his down or up smash near the ledge, and the yo-yo will have a charging hitbox that hangs off stage, effortlessly catching most recoveries and comboing into the completed smash attack. Oh, and his back throw makes killing as simple as finding a grab. So, who's the easiest character? We're going with Mario. His effortless ability to rack up damage via safe aerials, great smash attacks that don't have much cooldown, and versatile playstyle make him the perfect character to pick up if you want to learn the game or add an easy pocket character to your lineup. But who do you think is the easiest character to play in Smash Ultimate? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe to Pro Guides and click that bell so you never miss a thing.